Well, hello, First Baptist Church family. So good to see you. So good to be able to uh, make this announcement that we are coming back into the building to worship together starting this Sunday, May the 24th. And it's going to be a wonderful time of celebrating and, and just rejoicing that we can come together as a church family and to worship the Lord Jesus Christ together. So uh, we are looking forward to seeing you this Sunday morning. Now, in saying all of that, there are some things that's going to be a little bit different when you come into this building, come into this sanctuary. Uh, this Sunday, we're going to have a 1045 a.m. worship service only. And uh, let me just give you a few guidelines, just uh, some suggestions about social distancing and some things that we have put into place here as you come into the building this Sunday. First of all, we want you to know that we can't allow lots of hugging and, and going around and shaking hands and things like that. So the doors will open at 1030 a.m., okay? And the only doors that will be unlocked are the foyer doors, the one on the east side and the one on the west side. So please understand that. Uh, don't come into any other entrances except the foyer doors, and they will be unlocked at 1030 a.m. And our worship service begins at 1045, so it gives you plenty of time uh, to come in, find your seat, and, uh, and get prepared for worship. Also, we want you to understand that as you come into the building, that there's going to be some hand, sanitation, uh, hand sanitizer stations available for you to use and would encourage you to use those before you find your seat. If you would like to have a mask and you feel comfortable in wearing a mask, then please bring your own mask, but we will have some available for you. And uh, there'll be a mask station there in our foyer and you can go by and pick one up. And all that we ask is that that is your mask, okay? Don't put it back. It's not to be reused by anyone else except you. That is your permanent mask uh, if you choose to grab one from the mask station. Also, understand because of uh, just the process and the things that we're having to put into place, there will be no nursery or no children's church this Sunday. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks, we'll be able to uh, begin to open those uh, ministries back up. But right now, it's only a worship service, no uh, child care uh, provided, and no children's church. So come and sit in your family uh, if you feel comfortable in doing so and, uh, and bringing your babies with you. That's no problem. As you come into the sanctuary, you're going to see that there's things that are a little bit different. There's pews that are marked where you can sit and where you can't sit, uh, where you can't sit, excuse me. Uh, and the reason we're doing that is because we're trying to do the very best that we can to follow the guidelines that have been given to us in relation to social distancing. Uh, right now, every other pew is marked off, and we're going to make some uh, corrections on that, and we're going to try to do what we can to get as many people in here as possible. So please pay attention to that as you come, and we're asking that you sit in your family unit only, okay? I know that there's somebody across the sanctuary that you haven't seen in two months and you want to go say hello to them and maybe even want to sit with them. Well, I'm sorry, we, we can't allow that to happen, okay? You're going to have to uh, sit in your own family unit and come in and be right there uh, in that place, the, the pew that you choose. Also, uh, we're not going to be able to pass the offering plates, but at every entrance into the building, there is an offering box. And we want to encourage you to, to continue your worship through the Lord, to the Lord through your giving of your tithes and offerings. And ask that you just drop that into those offering boxes as you enter or as you leave the building. Uh, again, because of uh, social distancing uh, guidelines and regulations, we, we're going to dismiss in sections across the sanctuary. Okay, So uh, you'll get some instructions on how to do that following our worship service this Sunday morning. And I also want to say that um, those that are 65 and over or perhaps have a compromised immune system, then we want to ask that you use caution as you come. We'll let you uh, be the judge of that, but you come at your own uh, risk and your own caution as you come into the building and you worship this Sunday. If you don't feel comfortable in doing so, then by all means stay home and we'll continue to provide the online worship experience 
through Facebook and our YouTube uh, channel, so you can enjoy uh, church right there in your home. Um, but lots of things are going to be a little different, and I, and I understand that, and I know it's hard, it's a challenge, not just to me as a pastor, but for all of us. But if we work together, we're going to be able to get through this time, and we're going to be able to rejoice, and we're going to come into this place this Sunday, and we're going to truly celebrate about what God has done for us. And no doubt, I believe God is going to do something great and mighty in our midst. And I'm praying for that, and I encourage you to pray and come anticipating what God's going to do this Sunday morning at First Baptist Church. I can't wait to see you, and I hope you'll join us. 1045, Sunday morning, May the 24th. Remember, the doors will open 1030 a.m., and it'll be those foyer doors only will be unlocked. See you then.